welcome or welcome back to my channel. My name is Amanda, otherwise known as the Tangle Skeins Crafter. Um, sorry, my desk was messy. Just This is part two of my um, gbfke.com unboxing. Um, I just recorded the other one, that's why I still have stuff everywhere. I should have cleaned up first. Okay, um, my other one was cross stitch. This is all diamond painting related, so if you're not interested in diamond painting, um, go look at my other unboxing for GBFKE, which is all cross stitch kits. Um, this is all diamond painting related stuff, as I already said, sorry. And let's dive in. First, I'll look at the little accessories. This is a collaboration, so I didn't pay for anything. I will tell you what the prices are showing on their website right now. And I will put all links and prices. And if there's any kind of discount code or anything, I'll put all that in the description box. Anyway, this I've been seeing other people use, and I think it might come in handy for me. Because I tend... Oh yeah, it's really sticky. I tend to knock my drill tray around a lot. If you've watched any of my videos, you've probably seen me spill drills many times. So I've seen people use this. It is called a point drill tray sticker non-slip mat for 5D diamond painting do it yourself, or DIY tools. Right now it's showing 75 cents USD American on their site on GB fke.com. Maybe if I say it often enough, I'll be able to say it without stuttering over it. But anyway, it's just, it's sticky. And you take your... So it's going to be hard to just knock your tray over or... Yeah, it's just... You can use this for a lot of other things too. I'm sure you could probably just stick it somewhere and like stick your phone on it. Look, it holds my heavy phone. <laughs> Ah, sticks really good too. Sorry for that weird sound. And then whenever it starts losing it's sticky, you just wash it off and it gets sticky again. I've seen stuff like this sewed for um, automobiles. Automobiles, why do I even say it? For cars, for vehicles. Um, to put on your dashboard Hello? so stuff doesn't slide I'm off sure if you want stuff up there. And to stick your phone up on there. Yeah, let's put that out of the way. Like I said, that shows 75 cents on their site right now. Alright, next I got this Rhinestones Head Diamond Painting Point Drill Pen Tip Do It Yourself Art Decor Craft. Anyway, it's a dollar six right now on their site. It's just a little straightener. Because I haven't had one. And I see people use them all the time to get their drills nice and straight. And I'm getting ready to start some square drill diamond paintings. And I know those are going to drive me absolutely insane. Please ignore my horrible nails. I haven't repainted them yet. Um, so I'm hoping these will help me. Like keep my drills straight. Where is my... There it is. Hope my nail fit. Yeah, it fits really well. So it fits in the pin I use the most. That makes me happy. So it's a little straightener. It's a dollar six USD. And then I use a curved single placer, but it's plastic. And it's I don't know, it's just it's just not it for me. <laughs> but uh I'm hoping this metal one will work well for me this plastic one, it's like the wax just keeps put, being pushed farther and farther up in it. I don't know if this one's going to be the same or not. But anyway, I just thought it'd be nice to have a metal one. A nice, durable metal one. Oh yeah, see? Well, you probably can't see, but it doesn't, it's not hollow all the way up. It actually has an ending to the opening, so it's not the wax in them it just keeps sliding farther and farther up in there. So that makes me happy. This is you're going to be seeing this in a lot of my videos now on this pen. So this is also a dollar six on their site. Now I can't tell you if it's a good price or a bad price because I've never bought any of these. But it seems comparable to what I have seen elsewhere. So 
for you know metal tips, metal placers, and, and metal straighteners. All right, that's probably not what you're here for. You're probably here to see what diamond paintings I'm opening today, since I am like apparently a diamond painting addict now. All right, this one I will hopefully have a link. I had asked them for a different one and it was out of stock so they sent me this one instead he called it the gentleman that I had in contact with the company called it um, Christmas gorgeous doll which I've seen you know a lot of gorgeous yeah. images gorgeous g-o-r-j-u-s I believe is how you spell it which I think is probably a licensed image, but anyway. So this is the 30 by 40, which means it's probably what, 25 by 30, 25 by 35, I'm trying to remember. Let's see, the image is 25. by 35 yes so the image itself is 20 by 25 by 35 30 by 40 canvas centimeters in case you didn't know um, 23 colors which I think is actually plenty for this image because I mean you can see it pretty good if I can find a picture I'll insert a picture earlier as I was opening it but like I said I don't have a link for it right now because it's something they sent me not that I requested so I tried looking on their site earlier and I could not find this specific one. All I can tell you right now is most of these this size run anywhere from $4 and something to $9 and something. So about $5 to $10 for one of the gorgeous dolls. And they have a lot and they're all really just adorable. I love gorgeous. I mean, I don't know if you can see it, no. but anyway, I have a my um, mouse pad is a gorgeous doll. It looks like it is clearly printed. Sticky. The canvas has glitter. I'm starting to wonder, do I have other canvases that have glitter? Because I opened something from a different company recently and it had glitter. A glittery canvas. I don't know if you can see that. The glitter. Sparkly. Anyway, I really like the image. I'm glad he sent this one to me. Let's open up. Oh, it comes with the, you know, the regular kit. It's got the tray, the wax, and the single placer plastic pen. I just call it the generic pen. It's all you need to do a diamond painting if you've never done a diamond painting before. It's all you need. That and, you know, the canvas and the drills. Let's see. Look at these 23 colors. I can tell you right now that I absolutely love that they come in these numbered baggies. This is the first kit I've ever opened that comes in a bag where the number is printed on it. It says, Handicraft Wonderful Life. Ah, oh, it's pretty colors. I really like the colors of the drills. Yeah, Force 310. Some grays, some pink, brown, more grays. There's very few of some color and a lot of other. But, you know, you saw the image. There's not a whole lot in the background. I mean, it's got colors, but it's big spaces of colors. That's where a lot of these are going to go. So yeah, I'm happy with this kit. I'm really happy that he sent this one to me. I like the collars. I like the canvas. The image. I like these size, the 30 by 40s, except for um, two that I'm doing. 
that you know I won't mention where I got them or anything, which I think they were discontinued anyway. But they 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 say 30 by 40, but the image itself is 30 by 40. So whenever I started ordering 30 by 40s, I thought that's what I was getting, and it's not what I was getting. So I was a little bit disappointed, but. For an image like that, I think that's a perfectly reasonable size, and I think she's going to turn out really cute. And like I said, I can't tell you how much she is, because I don't have the link to her and I couldn't find her on the site, but most of them run anywhere from 5 to $10 for that size. And um, she's round. The one I originally asked for was square drill, but she's a round drill, which is perfectly fine. I, that's what I'm used to. I go based on the image usually, and then, you know, if there's a choice in drills, then I might choose square over round, just depending on the inter how, how many, how much details in the image. All right, this one I requested because I, oh, I got a spill. This one I requested because I thought it was going to be really cute and really seasonal. It's very... It looks like a bunch of just bowling balls going towards a tree in this... <laughs> on the canvas. But, um... I will insert a picture of this one. This one is called, it just says forest. I think it was underneath their Christmas section though. But it's forest, 30, 30 by 40 centimeter canvas, full round drill diamond painting. And right now it's showing at $2.03 USD. Which I think is a wonderful price <laughs> for this kit. It has 22 colors. I kind of wish it had more. But I feel like it'd have to be a bigger canvas to really have more to get any of like the, the detail of the trees and stuff. I think it's going to turn out cute though. I will let you know. I'll probably do a series on this one also as I do with a lot of them. If you want to watch my progress. Actually let me know if either of these you want to see me do a series. Either my time lapse or my diamond paint with me. Let me know if you want to see these being done. I love doing them and I love sharing them with you. It's a good sticky. It's clearly printed. My only issue, I think, is going to be the R's and the B's. I don't know if you can see that, but these dark colors are R's and B's and O's. But the R's and the B's are the ones that are going to be the closest so the hardest for me to tell apart and that's just a lot of it's because I'm half blind I mean not legally but I need my readers and a backlight a backlight helps a lot so this would probably look a lot better with the backlight the light pad yeah it's printed really nicely I wish it wasn't so bent up but I think it'll straighten up. It doesn't look like it has like major creases in it. Sorry if you hear my cats playing. They're getting the zoomies. Jumping over stuff and knocking stuff down. Hopefully I put the image up for you because it's a cute image. It's really pretty. It's like this big tree with like a Christmas star on top. And then it's like a beautiful, it makes me think of one of those like, what's it called? A Japanese red maple? You know, the fiery reddish purple color is what it makes me think of. Not the, you know, that kind of tree, but that color. And then there's like a forest behind it. There's like this glow. It looks like a sunrise or sunset. It could just be the glow from the star because it starts up there. And then it looks like a bunch of Christmas baubles. Christmas ornaments. I don't know when I started. I started calling them baubles when I started knitting out of this book years ago so it's just what I call you now Christmas baubles but uh looks like they're all heading towards it or just laid out around it when I first saw it I thought they were Easter eggs but they're Christmas ornaments let's look at the colors and try to find the one that's leaking like I said there is 22 colors
Hopefully it's just one little package with a hole, but I think I've seen two different colors. Maybe not. Maybe it's all just brownish. Sorry for all the rattling. It's like we went from one kit that I was just super impressed with to another kit where I'm like, well, I really don't like these little packages. It's such a pain to cut them all open, but usually worth it. I mean, you know, if you want to do the painting, it's worth the time to get them kitted out. Look at these pinks. See you know what I mean? It's just like that pinky purple. Magenta. Or is that more of a purple? I'm thinking blues clues now. More pinks. More pinks. More pinks. It's just, I'm not a pink person really, but I really like this image. I'm more of a, like a blood red or something than a pink. In here, I still don't know what to call this color, but it's that 154. It's like a deep purpley, I almost want to say a reddish purple, but a, just a deep plum, violet, I don't know, but so there's that, there's some purples, I love purple, purple's my favorite color, I say that in so many videos, some 8, 2, 3, I think it's like a navy blue, some more purplies. Orangey, peachy color, yellow. It's going to be really pretty. I mean, I kind of wish it had more colors, but I think it's going to be really pretty. I don't know how much detail it's going to have, but the colors are going to be pretty. Alright, so it's got to be, yeah, it's this one. What number is that? 815. I'll try to keep these all together and get them put in a container soon. So, oh, whoops, hit this one up soon. I'm looking forward to doing these. I'm not going to have them done by Christmas, obviously. It's like right now when I'm recording, it's already like the 10th of December. So there's no way I'd better get them done because I'm still working on a challenge. So I was doing two Christmas ones for a challenge. But I look forward to starting these. Maybe I'll do them in January. We will see because you don't have to do Christmas ones around Christmas. So there's my two diamond paintings and my diamond painting accessories. Tell me what you thought. Tell me if you want to watch me do these. Tell me if you want to do me to do some lives and do want work on one of these because I still haven't done a live. I'm really I don't know which one because I'm drawn to this one because I love the gorgeous doll, but I love the colors in this too. I don't know which one I'd want to do, which one I want to start first. I like them both. I wish this had a little bit more colors. I mean, she's a lot more simple and she has one more collar. I don't know. I'm not going to do any kind of rating or anything yet because I haven't done them. I don't know how they're going to turn out, but I will let you know how they turn out if I don't somehow, like if I don't do a series with them or anything. Um, I'll let you know how the tips work, the, um, the little angled pla single placer and my little straightener. And if I actually end up using the sticky thing for diamond painting or if I use it for something else, I'll let you know all that at some point, I'm sure, because I talk incessantly. So anyway, GBFKE is, it's, it looks like it has some really good prices. Pardon me while I move my mouse around. 
Like I said, that was two dollars and three cents for that Christmas tree that's called Forest. I shouldn't say Christmas tree, but you know, the tree with the Christmas theme to it. Um, they have gbfke.com has diamond paintings, obviously, diamond painting accessories, cross stitch kits, um, 9 count to 18 count. They have cross stitch tools. They have customized, I think. I haven't even looked at their customized stuff. So it looks like they have customized diamond paintings. Very reasonably priced, it looks like. They have anywhere from $5 up to, it looks like, $23. Um, they also have, well, obviously they have diamond painting tools. They have the cross stitch. They have um, more links. There we go. They have, um, I'm sorry, I cannot talk. Do-it-yourself trays, so diamond painting trays, keychains, ornaments, storage boxes, bags, jewelry, clocks, bookmarks, lamps, uh, makeup mirrors, boarding passes, greeting cards, glasses, earrings, ear cushion, Christmas stockings, they have diamond painting Christmas stockings, hat, handbags, they have a lot. Of diamond painting kits that you can choose from not just your you know normal kit but all kind of diamond painting crafts um, they also have oil paintings epoxy molds wax seals resin ornaments brooches sun catchers stuff like that but you know I was mostly focused on cross stitch and diamond painting because that's what I I do the actual kits so if you haven't, you know, and if you, if you like cross stitch also, please check out my other unboxing for GB, yeah, gbfke.com. I feel like I'm saying it wrong every time. Um, I will put all the links and all the prices in the description box. If there's any kind of discount code, I will put that in the description box. I do have multiple discount codes for different sites in there. I just keep them in all the description boxes. So always look because I'm always adding more. Mm, I think that's all for today. I've been up for, you know, almost 24 hours. So I'm starting to wear down. <laughs> I thank you so much for joining me today. Um, like I said, please leave a comment and let me know if you want to see me working on these. If you want like actual reviews of any of my finished ones, like once I get these finished, do you want me to do an actual like rating of them and review and show you how, what I think of how they turned out? I wish I could talk. Tell you that there, if there's enough drills, if there's a lot of extra drills, any of that stuff, just let me know if you want to have any questions, if you want to see anything, if you want any different content. Remember I'm like unboxing. I don't know what else I could do, but I mean, I measure them, I tell you the number, amount of collars, I show you the stuff, but if there's something I'm forgetting to go over, please let me know. I'm still relatively new to this. And I thank you so much. I'm going to stop rambling now. Um, please consider liking if you like this video, subscribing if you haven't already, sharing if you know anybody that would like my content. I would appreciate it greatly. And I thank you so much. I will talk to you next time. Bye-bye.